Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. Today I'm going to be painting one of my favourite miniatures from Heroes for Dungeon Quest. On the base of this miniature is stamped the name Iron Fist, but in the game he is called Iron Hand the Gladiator. He is an ogre and he is really fun to play. He has no special rules really of any kind, he's just really really strong and has loads of hit points, so he is a complete juggernaut. And Iron Hand clearly doesn't like to wear a lot of clothes, so we have a lot of skin on show for this miniature, a lot of skin to work with. So I'm going to take this opportunity to do a nice dark skin tone for him. So we have started with an undercoat of spray black, and then we are going to start with Dryad Bark. I'm thinning this down and I'm going to apply two coats of this, and I'm going over pretty much the whole miniature because there is so much skin and very little clothing to deal with. So there's no need to be neat and tidy at this point, we just need to make sure all of the nooks and crannies are filled in and we have a nice solid coat of dryad bark to work from. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash the miniature with a mix of purple tone and nuln oil. This is about four parts purple tone to one part nuln oil. And again we want to get a good coating of this over the whole miniature, it's going to go into all of the recesses to provide the shading, it's going to make all of the definition on all of those awesome muscles pop out. And then when that is completely dry, I'm going back to Dryad Bark. I'm thinning this down and I'm going to use the Dryad Bark to highlight the raised areas. So all of the ridges on the tops of the muscles, the top of the head, the nose, the mouth, the cheekbones, the eyebrows, the tops of the ears. And this is going to help really define all of those muscles. And because there is a lot of skin on this miniature, you want to spend more time on the skin than anything else really. So we're going to do a few more layers after this one. What I'm doing is I'm dropping in a little bit of Gorthor Brown and then I'm repeating the process. So I've thinned the paints and I'm just applying it to the raised parts of the muscles. And of course with each highlight you focus on the most raised areas again, working towards the highest areas and leaving plenty of shade in the recesses. And once I've applied this coat, once again I'm going to drop a little bit more Gorthor Brown into the mix and I'm going to do it again. And this is one of those things where you can really keep going until you are happy with the result. So just adding a little bit more brown every time, lightening the tone and just going back and being more and more targeted with your highlights. And then at some point you'll say, I'm done with that and I'm happy. Which is where we are now. So I'm switching to Eshen Grey and I'm going to apply this to the boots, to his loincloth and to any straps on his armour. The strap across his chest holding his pauldron on and also some straps that are on his gauntlet. And then I'm switching to Lead Belcher and of course we're going to do the metal areas so that iron fist of his gets a coating as will the pauldron, the armour plating on his knee, there are some buckles and studs that need it, and also the top of the mace. I'm not going to paint his wristband in lead belcher, I am going to save that to do that in gold, just for a little bit of variation in the metal tones. Which is what I'm going to do now, so just that armband, getting a coat of the Balthazar gold, making sure I don't get it over any of the skin that we've already painted. And then I'm going to get the Nuln Oil and I'm going to apply that to all of the Eshen Grey that we've applied and also all of the Lead Belcher. And that's going to darken down those colours and also again provide recess shading. I'm not going to put Nuln Oil on the armband, that will get a different wash in a moment. I'm then switching back to Gorthor Brown while the wash is drying and I'm just going to apply that to the handle of the mace. And also there is a little pouch at his waist and I'm going to paint that with Gorthor Brown as well. And now of course you knew it was coming, I knew it was coming, it's time for Agrax Earthshade. I'm just going to put it over the handle of the mace, the little pouch at his waist and that armband that we painted in Balthazar Gold. And once this washes on you can pretty much leave it there but I'm going to go back and do a few layers of highlights. We're going to go back to Eshen Grey, we're going to apply that to all the raised areas of the boots and also the straps and the loincloth. 
just to help bring out all of those details on the miniature. And then we're going to do the same with Gorthor Brown, applying it to the raised areas of that little pouch at his waist. And doing this will just make all those details pop. We're also going to put some Balthazar back on that armband, just painting on the studs and also doing a little bit of edge highlighting on the top edge. And of course with the lead belcher too, so this is going to go on the rim around the pauldron, on the raised spikes on the mace and the pauldron, the edges of his gauntlet, the edges of the armour on his knee, anywhere where the light would naturally catch. And now we just have to deal with the eyes. So we have some pallid witch flesh which I have thinned out and I'm just going to brace the miniature, hold my breath and very, very carefully dot in some white in each eye. And then I'm switching to Abaddon Black. I'm going to choose a direction for my miniature to look in, in this case off towards the left of the camera and I'm just going to dot in some pupils with black. And that is that, the miniature is finished and I am very, very happy with how this one has turned out. Of course, I do still need to do the base. I'm going to do the flagstone thing that I've done in other videos, so I'm not going to cover that in this video here. I'm going to say that's it from me for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider pressing the like button. If you really enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully, I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.